Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. One of the biggest requests of the channel so far. We're going to be shooting Hornady Precision Hunter 178 grain ELDX out of the 308 Winchester. And here is the box for that Hornady Precision Hunter 178 grain ELDX load for the 308 Winchester. Let's flip it around to the back. Here is all of your promo information for the ELDX bullet more so than the Precision Hunter line of ammo. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Flipping it around here, we have a claimed velocity of 2,600 feet per second. It'll be interesting to see how close we get to that out of the 22 inch barrel of my Ruger American. And let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the ammo itself. Comes in your black plastic ammo holder. And there it is, your dark red tipped ELDX bullet. Looks like good clean stuff. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22 inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tailed deer design. And check out my brand new website, masonoutdoors.com or my Amazon storefront, where you can get all my favorite range gear and outdoor equipment. Everything you see, I personally use and can recommend with confidence. And every purchase helps me bring you more YouTube videos. Videos. Links are in the video description and the pinned comment. Now, back to the video. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are the velocities for that Hornady Precision Hunter 178 grain ELDX load out of the 308. We had a minimum of 2523, a maximum of 2566 for an average of 2542. We'll get more in depth with the velocity here in a second. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that 178 grain Hornady ELDX load out of the 308 Winchester, and we did capture all three bullets. And I'm pleased to present that they performed really good as far as I can tell. Let's talk about penetration. We've got two bullets right here. We'll give them both 23 and a half inches. They're pretty close. And then there's one that went a little bit deeper, 25 and a half inches. This is really good penetration for sort of your mid range hunting calibers right here. You know, 23, 24, 25 inches. This is really good. And it looks like they expanded really well and held together pretty good. There is a little bit of fragmentation, but not a whole ton. As you can see here in the first block, there's some little lead bits right here in the you know two to four to two to five inch range. Not totally unexpected for what's essentially a ballistic tip bullet. And these wound tracks, as you can see, are pretty nasty. They start to open up at about, eh, about the two inch mark. They come in, start to open up really have some devastating wound track all the way back to about the 12 inch mark where it tapers off and the four to five inch range is just absolutely explosive these would put a hurting on just about anything if you put it in the right spot so let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look all right y'all let's go over all the metrics for this 178 grain eldx load out of the 308 winchester we've got the bullets out of the blocks here they are let's go ahead and hit everything weight retention wise 140 grains 100 148 grains and 159 grains for an average of 149 grains retained weight. That's 84% weight retention. I'm very happy with that for what these bullets are. They're meant to expand rapidly and hold together as per Hornady's own advertising. Flip the box around and read it. That's what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to explode. It's not supposed to fragment. It's supposed to do 
exactly what it did here, so excellent performance. On to expansion, we saw 0.66 inches, 0.71 inches, and 0.71 inches for an average of 0.69 inches expanded diameter, and that works out to 2.3x expansion. Take a look at these bullets here. They're fairly uniform, a little bit of variability. The one in the middle sort of expanded and slanted down, but they're pretty darn good. We don't have just, you know, a jagged edge here and there creating the expansion number. It's fairly uniform. And then on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2567. Our low was 2523 for an average of 2542 versus the factory build velocity of 2600 feet per second. So on average, we came in 58 feet per second slow. Pretty par for the course. I've seen a lot worse than that. I'm happy with it, not a big deal. And now real quick, we'll hit impact velocity. So how fast was this bullet going when it impacted the target down there at 100 yards? Now this is an estimate based on a formula, but it should be pretty darn close. So our impact velocity would be somewhere around 2,364 feet per second down there at 100 yards. And that's just something to know. And now on to penetration. We got pretty darn good penetration out of this stuff, especially considering the good expansion as well. 23 and a half inches, 23 and a half inches, and 25 and a half inches for an average of about 24 inches of penetration. That's pretty darn good. And real quick kinetic energy with 178 grain bullet going on average 2,542 feet per second, we're looking at 2,554 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on the Hornady Precision Hunter 178 grain ELDX load in the 308 Winchester. Now, if you've been around for a while, watched my other videos, you'll know that Hornady Precision Hunter and the ELDX bullet have a bit of a controversial history here on the channel very inconsistent performance. Some loads do very well. They do exactly what they're advertised as doing, which is how I judge these. That's what I'm presenting. I don't care about the particulars of the metrics so much as do they do what the factory says they'll do. And Hornady Precision Hunter hasn't about half the time, about half the time they do. This 308 version did exactly what they're advertised as doing, which is shedding a little bit of weight, but holding together, expanding well, penetrating pretty darn deep. All in all, it makes for a pretty darn good medium to medium large game bullet based on this performance. And real quick, I'll pull the box out here. I'll see if I can get it to focus. Look right there. We've got the two expanded bullets there. The one on the bottom, impact velocity 2660, right? So it's expanded, it's held together. For the most part, looks like it's shed some of its weight. And our impact velocity here is quite a bit slower than that. I don't know what they're shooting it out of at what range to get 2660 feet per second. That's like darn near at the muzzle. But anyways, our impact velocity was about, uh, what would it work out to be? about 300 feet per second slower than that, and we're still getting good performance. It's expanding very well. So all in all, this version of the Hornady Precision Hunter ELDX load did pretty good. Now, what would I use it for? Well, based off the performance of every ELDX load I've tested so far, I'm still on the fence. I still wouldn't choose it as my first choice for a hunting ammo. It's an excellent match ammo, an excellent long range precision ammo, but I wouldn't want to shoot it at game at any range based off the performance I've seen across different loads. I think I've tested it at this point in 30-06, 6.5 Creedmoor, 270, 308 Winchester. And I can't remember if I've if the video is going live or not, but I have it in 243 Winchester. All right, so yeah, I just checked real quick. I have tested it in 243 Winchester so far, and their performance is variable. Sometimes it does exactly what it's advertised as doing. Other times it completely doesn't. So I know a lot of people have nothing but great things to say about it. I also have heard a whole bunch of horror stories, so make of that what you will but this particular load did very good. I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. What do you think about it? Would you use this stuff? Let me and everyone else know in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA.
I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.